Okay, so yes, yeah, up close and personal. I do apologize if the lighting goes in and out. I am using natural lighting and the sun has been playing hide and seek the whole day, but I digress. Okay, so you cannot really see any white heads per se. Um, they're not really pronounced, but you can tell like there's a whole lot of them. I can feel them, especially these areas. I'm just, sorry, I'm just making sure I'm in focus. And of course, yeah, so they're not extreme, but they do bother me. I mean, who wants them in their face? Um, and just to introduce the tool, I bought this when I was in China and I'm so glad that I carried this along with me because it is extremely helpful. I have oily skin, as you probably can tell, so it's very easy for my pores to get clogged if I don't take care of them. So this really helps. I don't use it all the time, honestly, especially when I'm consistent with exfoliating. I don't need to use it often. I wouldn't even say like once a week. I would say if I'm being consistent in terms of like taking care of my skin, I would say I can even go as far as like three weeks. But anyway, yes, I will. I forgot the English name for this. I, I hope it does have one <laughs> because I bought this in China and it was just something that I came across and I was like, oh, what's this? Um, but I bought it. It came in a box, however, to save up space base when I was packing and stuff I put it in this you know bag over here and this is the charging cable which because I don't use it as often I don't really need it like that and it comes with let me just put these down so it comes with like these attachments so this is what actually attaches to your skin and it has six attachments. The one I got, some have four, some have three. Um, but I think the most is six or eight, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, six attachments depending on the size of the area that you're working on. So you can see this one is really small. And then you can see that this one over here is really wide. So I think this one is one you would use on your face. Um, and then the others as well. This one is a bit more narrow, so I don't use all of them, honestly, because my main focus is um, not even mostly my forehead, right here, this area right here. And sometimes I go underneath here as well. But anyway, those are the six attachments it comes with. Then as you can probably See, this one has been used quite often, so this is the size that I usually use. Sorry. It's like a medium to small. I don't know. I don't know the specific sizing, but I guess if you do get one, you would understand what, I was, what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, it comes in six. The attachment comes in six yeah I, I i don't know how to show you all of them i'll probably just insert a picture or something hopefully i don't forget but i, I will try my best so yeah let's get into it sorry let me just put this together so the, this one that i have has um so you hear that that's the so you can see like it has pretty good suction it's not like ASMR right <laughs> it has pretty good suction but it's not like super extreme the longer you leave it on a surface the longer yeah um, the more suction it has sorry <laughs> it has three settings so unfortunately these are in Chinese but there's one setting that is like continuous but the suction power is not a lot then if I press the M it changes to like a more powerful suction power and then if I press the M again the third setting 
is where oh I pressed the off button the the third setting is where it goes off and on yeah so that's so this is the second setting and the third setting is where it goes off and on which I don't know who would use that but anyway let's get into this video yeah okay so I have attached my section that's literally all you need to do just literally attach it and then I'll explain the technique and then I'll just do the rest of my video so I have some a face cloth that has been sitting in warm water I would not advise you using super hot water we don't want to burn our skin don't do that to yourself please um, this is best done um, to me I feel like if you're coming out of the shower a warm shower then I would definitely say you know you don't need to put the, the face cloth the warm face cloth on your nose but if not you want to do this before you take a shower then you need to to open up the pores and everything so yeah that's the first step okay now that we've opened up our pores so I'm going to switch it on and then you will see the way I do it of course this is easier to demonstrate than it is to explain so you will see that depending on the area some areas are a little bit easier to get the dirt out than others but yeah <laughs> if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments I'll try to explain as much as I can but yeah you basically just have to watch how I do it and how I go about it and as needed you know if you feel like an area where you might come across where maybe the pores are not yet fully open go back in warm your towel again put it over that area so that your pores are open and you're, it's easy to get the dirt out which is what causes whiteheads so yeah what the hell? <laughs> anyway I forgot to mention depending on the area there I switch between the medium medium setting and the high setting depending on the area so that's just something to think about so I don't know what type you might get or that you might be interested in you will figure out which setting works best you don't want anything that is like has too much suction because then it's going to cause redness on your face you just want something that has enough to pull out the dirt out of your skin yeah <laughs>
Okay, for those who were curious how much dirt came out, which I don't judge you, but just in case you're curious, I know it's disgusting. Um, this is how much dirt came out of my nose. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna clean that up because yeah, it's disgusting. But in case you were curious, dirt did come out. Now I'm just going to do like a little face mask. Hold on, let me go and just wash my face with some warm water. I'll be back. Okay, yeah, that's a lot of brightness. Now that I've washed my face, by the way, those who are worried about the redness that you saw, it does go down within a couple of minutes so that's why I emphasize do not use a very high setting if your device comes with that option um, just use something that is strong enough as I said as I explained before I'm emphasizing this again because I know some people have sensitive skin so be very very careful but anyway now that we're all done now that that gunk is out of my face I really want to go in with a toner. I haven't done a toning face mask in a really long time and I can tell because, you know, under my eyes over here isn't looking so good. It might not show on camera, but it's more evident in person. So I really wanted to do a toning mask. Now, I've already done a turmeric mask on my channel. I do a lot of... I've, I've, I've had that so today I just wanted to try some lemon and sunflower oil leave it on my face for just like 10 minutes um, and then I'm gonna wash it off as I go and wash my hair and see how my skin feels after that I think that would be a really nice combination so I will be back um, when I am done with my with washing my hair and yeah I'll be back <laughs> So let's just get this face mask on and yeah, I will tell you how it feels, how my skin feels afterwards. Yeah.
Okay, now please pay attention to the way I applied the mask. Ooh, acidic. Because it has lemon in it, obviously it's 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 stinging, but not too bad. It's not horrible. Obviously, because it has lemon in it, I was careful not to put it too close to my eyes. You do not want something as acidic as a lime or lemon juice getting into your eyes. So I was careful not to put it like anywhere that it would drip into my eyes. Um, but yeah, in the areas where I was funny enough. The area where it's like stinging the most is right by my chin here, but everywhere else up here, I don't feel the sting. I don't feel like, oh, you know, since my pores are kind of open, kind of, because apparently pores don't open that much. Um, but I don't feel any like sensitiveness, any itchiness, any like, oh my gosh, this is painful. So yeah but if you do have sensitive skin please be careful you can go ahead and use your own toner do your own skin routine this is just me doing something for me <laughs> so yeah i will be back um after i'm done washing my hair and this is off my face and we can end the video so stay tuned for that because you know you you might want to find out what i have to say <laughs> Okay, my beautiful people, as you can see, my skin feels, and honestly, hopefully the camera is focusing. I think you can see the difference from like when we started and now. So yeah, um, I usually, I am avoiding filming at night because my ring light decided we ain't friends no more, so I gotta find a new friend. But anyway, that's all for today's video, but before you leave, before you leave, hold on if you are a high porosity sister or brother i am creating a series specifically for us it's not necessarily me explaining a whole lot of things but me trying out techniques methods products that will help us understand what works for us what doesn't work for us and i'm doing a lot of research but for starters i have created a playlist and excuse my nails <laughs> but the link will be down below in case you're interested in watching it and finding out more about your hair if you're high porosity especially so this is specifically for high porosity natural you know peoples my peoples because the struggle is real and i've been scouring youtube to find information for us feel free to add your own videos to the playlist so we can help each other out and when i do come back um to post my own videos about high porosity hair and what i'll be doing please make sure you subscribe so we can help each other out i want to help you as much as i need your help so yeah subscribe so we can we can make this a reality and it can become something we can always come back to and just you know be happy that whenever i need information i know exactly where to find it thank you so much for watching thank you to anyone and everyone who's joined the family recently i hope you're enjoying the content and i will see you in my next video bye